Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and in today's episode, we are going to test rear view and side view cameras for our RV from Halo View. So stick around. Now let's start out with a pretty standard unboxing of Halo Views MC7109. Now this comes with a 7 inch 720p high definition screen that can be viewed in single view or split view and it comes with the rear view infrared camera for night vision even when you're backing up your RV or looking to see what's behind your RV. Now unlike a backup camera in your car this is something that's actually full time. So you get to be able to see what's going on down the road behind you as you're driving, not just when you are reversing. But we're gonna do a quick unboxing to show you what's included in the kit. We have the owner's manual. We have here the display unit. This can be mounted with a U-bracket. This can be mounted with the included suction cup bracket right on your windshield or it can also be mounted with a bean bag uh, that'll weigh things down and keep everything in place on your dashboard while you're driving. This is the actual rear view camera itself. Power cord for the rear view camera, suction cup mount for the display, a uh, license plate bracket if you wanted to mount your camera above the license plate. Uh, that's a little low for my preference. Uh, here we have the antennas for both the long one is for the display and the short one is for the camera. It all operates wirelessly. Uh, these are some thumb screws, uh, cigarette lighter power supply for the display adapter, power cord for the display adapter. And this is actually a wiring harness. If you know your way around your, your vehicle's wiring harness better than I do, you can actually activate this so, for example, you put on your left directional and the display will switch to the left side camera. Put on your right directional, it'll display to the right side camera. Uh, otherwise, it defaults to the rear view camera. I'm not that good. Um, let's be honest with ourselves here. I am by no means any kind of mechanic. And this is the U-mount bracket if you wish to permanently mount this on the dash of your truck. I don't wish to do that. We're going to use the suction cup mount for our own installation. I'm also going to show to you, show you uh, the uh, side view cameras that they sent us. These are optional, although it can be purchased as a kit, much like we received with the rear view and monitor. These are actually side view cameras that take the place of your side marker lights on your trailer or your RV. And so this camera points rearward, another infrared camera that actually looks back down along the side of the RV. So you're not going to have anything sneaking up along your side while you're getting ready to change lanes. Now, one other thing that they sent us, I don't know if we're going to be using this or not. I suspect not. Uh, if you have a nice smooth surface on your RV, this is adhesive backed. This is a little metallic steel plate that you can adhere to the rear surface of your RV. And then this is a magnet mount that will actually magnetically mount the camera to that plate. So you can install the rear view camera with no drilling required. One other way that you can do this with no drilling required is if you have a Furion mount already on your RV, already wired for a camera power, you can install this wireless camera with an adapter right in the furry and mount so there's no drilling required again we don't have that luxury we don't have a fury and mount on the rear of our rv so we're either going to be doing some drilling or we're going to use this magnet mount. and as you can see we do have image the point of this entire exercise was to make sure that we had adequate range on the wi-fi signal in the place we planned to put the monitor and the camera before we permanently installed either now, in case you do have a longer range that you need to cover, 
Uh, there is actually a range extender available, a wireless range extender that mounts on the roof of the trailer and will give you the range even over the longest RVs. Personally, I wanted to leave that connector for the camera outside of the aluminum siding of the, of the trailer, but I'm uh, reasonably happy with the cleanness of that install. Getting these little devils out of here can be a real challenge. There we go. All right. Simple. Okay, let's check and make sure we got power. got power so now I'm not gonna bore you with the details but I'm gonna go repeat the process on the other side and do be aware that they do mark these cameras left and right so that way the antenna is pointing up when it's on its correct side with the camera pointed back so now all that's left to do is try it out here's the split screen view which is already our preference the rear view camera occupies the top half of the screen while each side camera occupies a lower quarter of the screen but you don't have to have it that way. Everything is configurable. Here, we'll look at just the right side camera by cycling through the views with the select button. Press it again, and we're looking at the left side view. When we're on rear view only, the camera adds parking guidelines that are adjustable for your specific configuration. You can even scan through the views, but we prefer the split view. If you insert a micro SD card, the monitor will record all that it sees for a rear view dash cam. You can set this on a first in, first out basis so that the card never runs out of space. These clips are taken right from our micro SD card and are of a lower resolution and what appears to be a lower frame rate than what you see on the monitor screen. Maintain marital harmony by using the camera when backing into a campsite. No more apologizing for what you said while parking the camper. So we just finished our first 600 miles or 700 miles of driving with this camera system. And I've got to tell you, it is an absolute game changer. I don't know how we ever did without it. There was always a mystery. If somebody was close enough behind me that I couldn't see them behind the trailer, so I'd sometimes get surprised by somebody pulling out the pass who I never knew was there before. If I need to back up in a gas station, or backing into a campsite, having being able to see what's behind the rig and what's on each side of the rig is just absolutely stupendous.